Good morning, Mountaineers. My name's Robbie. I'm Gianna. Today is Friday, February 4th, 2022. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. This is a reminder that students may not park in the reserved or visitor spots in the district office parking area. You will need to park at the at the war lot if no more student spots are open in the lower lot. Hello, Science National Honor Society. It's Science Olympiad time. In place of this month's formal meeting, please complete the discussion post in Schoology. This is used to coordinate with your team for various events. You're required to work through a practice test for each event as a team to prepare relevant notes and resources to use in the actual competition. Please click on the posted link in Schoology and follow the given directions. This is a this is a SNHS requirement. Reach out to Mr. Kellogg or Mr. Ewing if you have any questions. Now over to Brooke Dog with the news. I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. The Irwin family has helped rescue more than 90,000 animals since opening Australia Zoo's Wildlife Hospital. Steve Irwin and his wife Terry opened the Australia Zoo's Wildlife Hospital in 2004. Today, Terry and their children, Bindi and Robert, continue to own and operate the 700-acre wildlife hospital that employs over 500 people. The facility rescues, rehabilitates, and releases over 7,000 native Australian animals every year. Wildlife Hospital takes in animals from all over Australia, Bindi Irwin posted on Instagram. This week we treated our 90,000th patient. The 90,000th patient is a platypus rescued from a wildfire. In other news, it's National Bubblegum Day. Now back to the main desk. Oh. <laughs> this important announcement is for any senior whose prospective college requires a mid-year transcript. While the majority of colleges do not require these, you should double check to see if your school needs an updated transcript. If so, log into Naviance to request one as soon as possible. Be sure to check out directions on how to request this in the class of 2022 Schoology group. If you have any questions, stop by the counseling office to check with Mrs. Ditzler. The FNA National Bank Scholarship application is now open for seniors. Log in to epnb.com to apply for the Hipschman, Brossman, Mellinger, and Wolf scholarships. Remember to submit your application and any supporting documentation by the due date of March 31st. See the counseling office with any questions. The junior class will be selling Valentine's Day candy grams at lunch all next week. You can make a bag of candy to send to that special someone or a special friend. You can mix and match and get two for three dollars or five for five dollars. You can buy them on the spot at lunch or have them sent to their homeroom, which will be, deliver be delivered on Monday, February 14th during homeroom. All proceeds go to the junior class of 2023. Now over to the lunch. Bacon cheeseburger with whole grain roll. So I think... <laughs> Turkey and gravy with rolls. Uh, spicy cr crispy chicken sandwich. DBJ, Uncrustable. <laughs> uh, fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. Chicken Caesar salad. Uh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> Broccoli with cheese sauce. Uh, fresh cauliflower and dip. Pineapple tidbits. <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's not always about the money, Spider Man. It's about the Mets, baby. Love the Mets. All right, baby. Let's go get a home run, baby. Love the Mets. Let's go, Mets. Yesterday, Rifle won 489 to 486 versus Mannheim Township. Top shooters were Lauren Zimmerman, 98 1 center, Nathan Bueller, 98 1 center, Ava Howard, 98. Madeline Shirk 98, and Corbin Wise 97. The Unified Sports Programs are designed to promote physical activity, friendship, respect, and acceptance. 
On a unified track team, students of all levels compete alongside one another. Each team member competes in one track event, one field event, and one relay. Competitions are divided into ability levels, so you are challenged but have meaningful competitions. Through this experience, people of all abilities build relationships and have fun while training, competing, and having fun. The time commitment is approximately 1.5 hours, two evenings per week, beginning March 16th and running through the spring sports season. Varsity letters are awarded to those who participate for the entire season. There are no tryouts for this sport, but you will need a physical to participate. Sign up in the athletic office beginning Monday, February 7th to become a part of this winning, winning experience. Today, bowling is home versus Lebanon, boys basketball is away at CV, girls bas basketball is home versus CV, and the track team is at Kutztown. Tomorrow, girls basketball is home versus Twin Valley. Now back to the main desk. Don't forget to come out on February 9th at 7 p.m. for the conclusion of the Mr. Four Diamonds presentation. MTS is closed today. Have a great day. Well, Maxine has been freed. <laughs> <laughs> Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl. Wow. Now my day's on cruise control. Wow. I got Reese's Puffs in my bowl. Wow. And just like that, I'm on a roll. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Peanut butter, chocolate flavor. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. In the AM, it's the flavor I savor. Peanut butter and chocolate too. You know how I do, that's what I wake up to. My Reese's Puffs inspired this rhyme. That peanut butter chocolate combination's on time. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. 